Hello, I'm Professor Von Schmohawk, and welcome to Why You. In our lectures so far, we have discussed multiplying positive numbers. But what happens when we multiply negative numbers? With the invention of negative numbers, the rules of multiplication had to be expanded to allow the operands to be either positive or negative. The rules of multiplication were picked so as to keep everything consistent. For instance, since one is the multiplicative identity, if a number is multiplied by one, we should expect that the number's value and sign will not change. Therefore, multiplying a positive number times a positive number must produce a positive result. And multiplying a positive number times a negative number must produce a negative result. Because of the commutative property of multiplication, we should be able to swap the operands and get the same result. So if either operand is negative, we must still get a negative result. But what if both operands are negative? If two negative numbers are multiplied, should the product be positive or negative? Let's try it both ways and see what happens. Let's multiply 6 minus 4 times negative 1. We know what the answer should be. 6 minus 4 is 2, and we have already shown that the product of a negative and positive number must be negative. So the answer must be negative 2. But instead, let's say that we use the distributive property and multiply negative 1 times each number in the parentheses separately. We then have negative 1 times 6 plus negative 1 times negative 4. We know that negative 1 times 6 is negative 6. But we don't know what sign the product should be when we multiply two negative numbers. Is negative 1 times negative 4 negative 4 or positive 4? Let's try both possibilities and see which one gives us the correct answer. If we assume that multiplying two negative numbers results in a negative product, then we end up adding negative 4 to negative 6, which equals negative 10. But the answer should be negative 2, so this is not correct. The other possibility is that multiplying two negative numbers gives a positive result. In that case, negative 1 times negative 4 would be positive 4. We then add positive 4 to negative 6, which gives us negative 2, the correct answer. So, we get the correct answer if we make the rule that the product of two negative numbers is positive. Now we know what sign the result should be when we multiply two numbers of any sign. Multiplying two numbers with the same sign always gives a positive result. And multiplying two numbers with opposite signs always gives a negative result. 